looking back, I've come to the conclusion that Star Trek and other uh, science fiction are part of our mythology, our way of seeking to explain the things we don't understand. Tell me if and, and how Star Trek has inspired and influenced you. Star Trek inspired me to want to go into space. Wow. I took a flight on the Vomit Comet in 2007 to experience zero gravity. This is the training astronauts have. Since then, I have been waiting for Virgin Galactic. Me too. I will be one of the first passengers if my doctors allow me to go. Well, we might be passengers together. Maybe I'll sit beside you as we go into space together. Well, I'm a lot older than you, and uh, the end is near, and I've been born too early as well. I'd love to be able to extend my life. We've always dreamed of immortality, and we're afraid of dying and, and losing all of this. Do you think science, at some point in the future, will help us achieve immortality? Nothing is immortal. The human repair mechanisms wear out, like everything else. To extend life further would require a major redesign of the human genome, which is unlikely to happen by the time of Star Trek. Thank you so much for taking the time. Um, it was very generous of you. And I personally have fulfilled a, a longing to meet you and to see you. And this, um, this show, this uh, program, has become basically my journey to see you. What a privilege and, and, uh, and, and how grateful I am for you to have let us into a small part of your life. <laughs> How wonderful. How wonderful. God, I wish I could have an evening with you and, and uh, talk about those things. I had the best time. I felt like I was beside a holy man. I would love to stay there. What a remembrance I'll have for the rest of my life. Wow. Holy cats. In this little cottage by the Cam River, came into contact with somebody who is gigantic. Wow. OK. I wonder what's for dinner. <laughs> he invited me for dinner. He invited me for dinner. <laughs>